Hi everyone, in today's video I want to talk to you about this. Yes, it's a piano accordion and not something you normally see me playing, but I want to give you a quick overview of just some of the main parts of it and how to make sound because I think as piano teachers and pianists and musicians, we should all know a little bit about how to play and how these kinds of instruments work. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is know that these things are really heavy. This is a full size one, so they don't actually get much bigger than this and it weighs a ton. It really is very heavy. Some of the newer models, and I've put some links below if you're interested in getting your hands on an instrument like this. Some of the newer ones are much lighter because there's much more digital componentry popped in them, but this is truly authentic. It is full of valves and reeds and goodness knows what, so it does weigh a ton. So either sit down or be prepared to get a really sore back. Um, secondly, you'll need to unclip at the top. You'll see there's a clip to stop the bellows opening and there's a similar one on the bottom down here. So I'll flick that open and now the bellows can actually move, but it won't pull open or shut unless you make a sound. So by forcing the air through and I can make it louder and softer by doing that, uh, by changing the pressure on this, we're able to get some sound out of the instrument. So the right hand side really is a, a standard piano keyboard. The only options you've got here is that you can change some of the uh, registrations, a little bit like an organ. So adding octaves below. This one's like the French button. Like if I had a beret on, this would sound. instantly like I'm in France. Um, and these ones just go higher. So they're basically just various registrations. Um, you don't need to worry too much about that if you're picking this up for the first time and exploring it. So on the left hand side, you've got a huge number of buttons. So what do these do? Well, these are your left hand. In accordion playing, your left hand is the one that does all the chord work. So it's, it's quite interesting too because I'm someone that really likes the circle of fifths and teaching people about that. The arrangement of buttons on the accordion follow the circle of fifths. So right in the middle here, one of these buttons has a little indentation. So I can feel that this one here, instead of being a rounded top on the button, it's got a divot. And that is the C chord. So if I press that button and move the bellows, it's the same as this. It's a pretty cool sound, isn't it? I do like playing this. So what do all the other buttons do? Well, they're in a row. So for each row, you have a whole set of chords based around one tonic note. So in the case of C, I've got the root C. Sorry, root E. We've got C, C chord, bass. There's the C chord, C minor, C dominant seventh, and C diminished, all in a row. And so the, the top one where I said E, it's actually more like a C chord with E in the bass. Now if I move my hand vertically, I head to this chord. Here's C. Here's the next one. What is it? Yep. C going up to G. So I'm moving around the circle of fifths. What's the next one going to be? We've got D and then we've got A, etc. And then each of those chords going down the strip are the same. So you get the minor, etc. So, you know, if I wanted to play something like Happy Birthday, uh, F chord. It 
So the great thing about the accordion is that you can very quickly make cool chordal sounds using just the buttons on your left hand. Uh, and there's just a couple of other tricks I want to show you uh, just to get you started on this uh, because it's obviously not an in-depth tutorial but there comes time sometimes when as pianists we have to play piano-like instruments and people are going to assume that you know how to play them so hence this video. Now one important button is this one here, this white one and it does this. So what that allows you to do is close the bellows without it making a sound, which is really useful at the end of a song. Um, so that's one little trick. Uh, and one other final thing, uh, while it takes a little bit more practice um, to get used to, there are sequences, because of the way that the chord buttons are organized on the left hand side, you can make some sounds uh, and some kind of fun little ditty bass lines pretty easily using uh, combinations of these buttons. So if I use the C chord, so that's the C bass, and then the C chord, I can do this kind of thing. Which is like playing on the left hand bass on the piano, playing a C chord, a C in the left hand and then the chord on the right hand. Now the great thing is the G is right next to that, so I can easily go between the two. And then I can move along. Anyway, you get the idea. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a great instrument to play along with. Even the cat uh, kind of liked it for a moment and then walked off. Um, so look, I hope that was a useful quick look for pianists and piano teachers at the piano accordion. It's a beautiful instrument. It's kind of quirky. It's a little bit weird, but it's a lot of fun to play. So I hope if you have one, let your students explore it. And if you haven't tried one yourself, then uh, see if you can take that. If you get the opportunity to, make sure you do it. And hopefully that's given you uh, a couple of tips so that you don't look like a complete newbie when you pick one up. Now, got any questions or any comments at all? If you've got any recommendations of great accordions that you've bought or if you yourself have explored using one of these in your studio or with your students or just yourself, maybe in a musical or a theater production or something like that, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Just before you go guys, I wanna make sure you're aware of Piano Pivot Live. It's my first ever piano teachers conference and it's being held 23rd and 24th of January right here in my hometown of Melbourne. Beautiful weather in summer, of course. If you wanna find out more about it, head to timtopham.com conference. It's gonna be an incredible experience and I can't wait to welcome you to Melbourne. See you then.